This is all we got. There's another big window in the, in the lab, but uh, unfortunately, it's, uh, we're not allowed to open it. And that is the tip of Brazil you're looking at. We just cross over Brazil and are heading out into the Atlantic Ocean. And over here is Columbus. Hello, Columbus. Okay, overhead two rack. Oh, well, that's right here. All right, so uh, I'll set you up here to look at this over my shoulder here at the ceiling, and then we'll get to work. Okay, there's a box that I'm supposed to work on. It's called Erno. Awesome, you expect to ground two. So, Garrett, we copied that you could both of the power switches on the uh, Erno box and on the cobalt brick to on. Then we would like you to verify the uh, cable, cable to the cobalt brick entering there at J2 and from the J1 which is the prime power supply to the cobalt brick to SUP number one and their connector is J02 which would be the center power connector on the SUP one which is the first one when entering Columbus to your right. Okay well my work here in Columbus is done. So uh I figure it's about time I give you guys a demonstration of how we shave in space. Yeah, it's time. Okay, so off we go into node one. A little hygiene station is set up there. I'm sorry, I make that node two. Uh, I get my nodes confused sometimes. What are you gonna do? Shaving up here is actually very straightforward. Especially if you use an electric razor. Pretty much the same thing as shaving on the ground. Something else you can do it upside down. And once you're done using the electric razor, you just turn on the vacuum cleaner. And just clean it up. You can also use a regular razor. And on days where I let it go for a couple days, you have to use shaving cream. And that's that works fine too. You just put the shaving cream on, you shave, and then you just keep wiping the blade off on a, on a towel or, or a napkin. Uh, and then uh, every few strokes. And uh, that's about it. There. Smooth as a baby's bottle. Okay, so our next test brings us into the lab again, and it's really just a self-study. Tomorrow I'm going to use a robotic arm. 
and uh, that should be a lot of fun. It always is. And uh, so I need to do a little practice for it. Here you can see our robotics workstation. This is uh, the three monitors or how we look at the arm and the two hand controllers are how we fly it. We don't have a view out the window, so we just do our best with, uh, with the monitors. And what I'm going to do is just go ahead and look through the procedure on the computer. So I'll let you read over my shoulder for a little bit. Hey there. All right, so I'm done with my studying for tomorrow's robotics activities. Basically, I'm going to take the big arm, reach over and get our new robot, Dexter, power him up, and uh, the ground's going to do a little work with him, and then I'm just going to take the big arm off. That's it. So it should be pretty straightforward, and it uh, should be fun. Uh, so now I'm going to go work out. So first I've got to change it to my workout clothes. Working out is really important for us up here because uh, if we, it's the most effective countermeasure we've come up with as far as preventing bone and muscle loss. If we do nothing, I think we lose 1 or 2% of our bone density every month that we're up here because the skeleton just senses that uh, there's no loading and due to gravity, there's no more gravity, so you don't need a big heavy skeleton and it goes away. It's not a problem up here, but it's a big problem when you come home. So uh, as a result, we do a lot of working out to load up the bones, put a little stress on them, and, um, and keep the muscles in tone too. Uh, and also cardiovascularly, you, uh, you have to keep that up as well because that also tends to diminish over time up here. So today I'm going to uh, work out on what we call RED, or resistive exercise device. It's basically a way we can do some weightlifting up here without weights. Instead of weights, we use uh, canisters that are full of elastic cords that provide resistance. And then I'll come back here and hop on the exercise bike, and uh, we'll be doing that too. I think at least I think it's exercise bike. Let me see. Uh, no, actually I'm scheduled for a uh, treadmill today, so maybe uh, maybe we'll hop over there and do the treadmill. That'd be good. Okay, so uh, see you soon. Okay, so that is red, the resistive exercise device. And in those two canisters are bungee cords or elastic bands, basically. And uh, by pulling on those on those cords coming out the bottom, uh, it provides resistance. And we can set it by turning those cranks so we can set different levels of resistance and do all kinds of exercises. So I'm going to set the camera up here, and uh, I'll be right back to start working out. Okay, I'm ready to start. So the first thing I'm going to do is uh, stretch out a bit, and uh, then I'm going to hop on the machine over here and start with some single leg squats and heel raises, and you'll see how that works.